Hello, welcome to the, today's class. Um, we'll be talking about computer hardware. Now, we need to ask ourselves, what is computer hardware? Now, computer hardware usually refers to physical components of a computer system. Okay, the parts that you can see and touch. Those are what we call computer hardware. Uh, for example, on a computer, we have the external parts. That is the computer case, the monitor, the keyboard, the mouse. And then we have the parts that are internal, like the hard, hard disk drive, the motherboard, the video card, RAM, power supply, etc. Those parts are what are referred to as computer hardware. Now we have categories of computer hardware. The first is input devices. Now, these devices are used to feed data or instructions into the computer. We have CPU or the central processing unit. And people say it's the brain of the computer, the part that processes the data. Okay. We have output devices. Uh, these are the devices which display results for the user to see or hear. Uh, for example, monitor, printer, speakers, we call those output devices. And then we have storage devices. These devices save data for future use. If you want to uh, come and uh, uh, maybe refer or you want to come and use whatever data uh, you have now in the future, you are going to save that data in the storage devices. So we are going to look at each and every uh, of these categories one by one. We'll start with input devices. Now, input devices are those devices that allow a user to enter data and instructions into a computer. Okay. So basically, input devices are a bridge. It's the intermediary between the user and the computer. So for you to be able to use um, the computer system, you are going to need input devices. For example, we have the keyboard, the mouse, we have the scanner, the microphone, joystick, we have light pen, trackball, digitizer, we have MICR or magnetic ink character reader, we have OCR or optical character reader, and we have the barcode reader. And lastly, OMR or optical mark reader. Now we are going to see each and every of these devices one by one. So the common input devices, we have the keyboard. Now the keyboard is the most common input device. You can say it's like the primary input device of a computer. So the way it looks, the layout of the keys and everything is similar to a typewriter, but a keyboard has some extra keys, for example, function keys. We have the control at delete keys. Uh, those are uh, the extra keys that were added to a computer keyboard. Now, we use the computer keyboard to be able to type text, type numbers, commands, etc. Um, another input device that is common and also like a primary input device is the mouse. Now, the mouse is the most popular pointing device. There are other pointing devices, but the mouse is the most popular pointing device. Now, the mouse is small and it has a ball or a sensor uh, below it. Now, that ball or sensor usually detects the movement of the mouse. Okay, We use the mouse if you want to control the cursor on the screen. The cursor is the pointer, that thing that moves on the computer screen. We call that the cursor or the pointer. So the mouse usually has two buttons, leftmost button and the rightmost right button. And depending on what you are going to be clicking using uh, left or right, you are going to be performing different functions. Also, on top of the mouse, between the buttons, usually uh, in some, some mouse we have a scroll wheel. Now, the advantages of using a mouse is that 
it's easy to use, it's cheap or inexpensive, and it moves the cursor faster than using the keyboard uh, keyboard keys. We also have a scanner. A scanner usually works like a photocopier, works like a photocopy machine. Okay, but what it does, it captures images or text from a piece of paper and converts them into digital form so that you can store them inside the computer. So once you they are converted, okay, they are stored inside the computer for you to be able to edit or you can even print that uh, particular uh, digitized uh, image. Uh, for example, you can scan photos. We've been scanning IDs, okay, or any document. You can scan uh, your, 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 your secondary school uh, document. You can scan uh, maybe a birth certificate and store it digitally so that in case maybe you lose the physical document, you can easily print and um, be able to use the one that you digitized. Uh, we also have a microphone. Now, a microphone is an input device that converts sound into digital signals. Okay, you speak into a microphone, and then the microphone usually digitizes, okay, that uh, particular sound or that particular voice. Now, microphones are used in multimedia presentations, in voice recording, also in VoIP calls or voice over internet protocol calls, and music mixing when. Uh, uh, our musicians are want to record some music. They usually um, uh, they usually use a microphone to be able to do that. We also have a joystick. Now, a joystick converts sound into digital signals. That's what a joystick does. Sorry, sorry. I meant a joystick is a stick-shaped pointing device, and basically. A joystick is used to uh, play games. It looks like a gear shift, okay? Not really a gear shift, but looks like that because uh, at the base of it, there is a ball and socket, which usually allows the joystick to move in all directions, okay? If you want to move it to the left, the right, uh, the top, the bottom, like in all directions, it can move because of that ball and socket thing uh, below it. Um, so it's used for gaming and also computer aided design or CAD or CAD. Um, we also have a light pen. A light pen is a pen like device with a photo cell inside. So what this uh, light pen does, it detects the position on the screen when it's touched. So you can draw directly on the screen or you can use the light pen to select some menu options on the screen, thereby inputting whatever data you want to input into uh, the computer. We also have a trackball. A trackball is a stationary pointing device, so it works like a mouse, but like an upside mouse. We said um, a regular mouse usually has a ball, or sorry, uh, a sensor or a ball below it, but trackball it has a ball on top of it. So you roll the ball using your fingers to uh, try uh, to direct the cursor on the screen whichever way you want it to go. So it's common in laptops and it requires less space than a mouse. You don't move a trackball. You don't need to move it. All you need to do is to move uh, the ball on top of it. We also have a digitizer. Digitizers convert analog images into digital form and it's used in engineering, in drawing or image editing. And it works with a stylus pen. So it's like a, a tablet, okay, that you can use to draw on it. And it, it converts those analog images you'll be drawing into digital form. We also have an MICR or a magnetic ink character reader. This is used in banks to process checks. Now those checks uh below on the on the bottom right hand corner they usually have uh what we call um uh some characters that are written with magnetic ink so the micr usually detects those characters that have been written there using magnetic 
or printed using magnetic ink. So the advantage is it's fast, it's accurate, and also reduces errors. Because if a human being would be um, would be uh, processing these checks inside a bank, and if the checks are so many, it might uh, it, it might be a lot of work for that person to do, and uh, he might be entering some inaccurate data and cause some errors. Uh, we also have an OCR or an optical character reader. Now, an optical character reader usually reads printed text and converts it into editable digital text. So it reads text one character at a time, and you can be able uh, to edit this text after it has been converted into digital form by the OCR. Uh, it's used in scanning books for digital storage and also automating form reading. We also have barcode reader, which reads data in the form of barcodes, that is black and white lines, lines of uh, different widths and lengths. Uh, the barcodes usually contain information about that particular item, okay, the barcode. So the barcode reader reads that barcode. It's common in supermarkets, in libraries, and also inventory systems. I think most of us have uh, gone to a supermarket and bought some items, and we, we have seen them being scanned at the POS. The last one is OMR, or Optical Mark Reader. Now, Optical Mark Reader usually detects pencil or pen marks on a piece of paper. Okay, It detects those marks where they have been placed. Uh, so it's common in multiple choice exam answer sheets. It's also common in surveys, and it's common to read lottery tickets. So it can be used to read multiple choice exam uh, answer sheets. It can be used to read surveys and also lottery tickets, even questionnaires. So that's the end of our input devices. Uh, this is a summary of the input devices, keyboard, mouse, scanner, microphone, joystick, light pen, uh, trackball, digitizer, MICR, OCR, backward reader, and OMR. So all of these and their functions and usages have been summarized here for everyone to see. Now, this marks the end of uh, our lesson on input devices. Um, I would like you to subscribe to the channel and uh, click on the bell icon so that next time I post another lesson, you'll be the first to know. Okay, let's meet on the next one.